Good morning. Uh, my name is Sheila and I'm doing the uh, Teen Yoga Challenge for today, the Zen Yoga Challenge. Um, you are with me here in Penang, Malaysia. Uh, it is a bit of a grey day and I'm hoping that it doesn't rain while we're doing our uh, session today because we're in the middle of the rainy season. You can see the clouds uh, coming over the mountains. Uh, for us there. So today we're going to do uh, a couple of breathing exercises. We're going to start with a breathing exercise and a little meditation to get us ready for some yoga. Uh, we're going to do some, um, some movements, some flexibility, some balancing uh, together. And then we'll do a little bit more breathing, uh, thinking about uh, sleeping. So I don't know if you're anything like me. Uh, the last few days I've had a little bit of difficulty sleeping. So I have some breathing techniques that can help with the sleeping. And especially if you're at home during lockdown, maybe not getting as much physical activity, uh, you might be finding it uh, difficult uh, to sleep. And we'll finish with a little relaxation and the Zen yoga challenge uh, for this session. Okay, come and join me on the mat. <clears throat> finger just to prepare for a class and just connect with my breath. You might find my cat walking in and out of our scene today. This is Tarzapan, my white cat. And uh, you might hear the traffic, you might hear motorbikes mainly we have here and uh, dogs barking. But it, a nice thing about meditation and relaxation is that we start to have a single point of focus. And it's not that you tune out the sounds of the birds or the motorbikes or anything else that's going on around you. It's just that you let them walk on by. So just come aware of your breath and notice where you're breathing. Are you breathing into your chest or your tummy? And you just want to be aware of your natural breath. And you might want to notice that breath on the tip of your nose as you inhale, it's cool. And as you exhale, it's warm. I'm trying to take a couple of deeper breaths now. breath, the sound is so hum. So as we inhale, it's as if the sound of our breath says so. And as we exhale, it's as if our breath is saying hum. Inhale, exhale. So, hum. do 
it a couple more times in your own mind. You can even say it out loud if you want to. And just give yourself a couple of more breaths, just natural breathing now. And you can flutter your eyes open. Okay, so I don't know if you're anything like me, but I'm uh, e-teaching all day long. And with the e-teaching, I'm hunched over the computer all day long. So I wanted to start our yoga class today with just a few uh, upper body stretches. So you can either sit cross-legged, or if you prefer, you can sit on your knees. So you choose what you feel comfortable with. I like sitting on my knees because I can be nice and tall through my body and I can open my shoulders. Uh, but you might find certain postures you want to be on knees and certain ones you don't. So we're just going to start by bringing the right arm up and grabbing the elbow very gently. And just feel your, your hands going down your back. And just stretch away from the, the side that your elbow is. So pulling away, pulling your elbow away. We'll have a couple breaths here and come to center and you can release your arm. Same thing on the other side. Left hand comes up, bringing the elbow back, gently pulling it back, feeling your hand walking down your spine and pulling your side, pulling your elbow away and opening that side body. And come up to center and release the arm. And rolling your shoulders back. One, two, three, and forward. One, two, three. And bringing your right hand round to grab your left arm. You can stretch in both directions. Stretch your neck down to your ear, to your right ear. Come to center. Stretch your ear to the left shoulder to center and grabbing the arm the other way, bringing your right ear down, pulling on the arm, just gently come to center and in the opposite direction and release the arm. Bringing your hands, clasping your hands under your head, just gently lifting your head up. Putting your hands on the top of your head, releasing your head down, and come to center. Okay, we'll do a couple more. This one, you will want to be in your cross-legged position for. Inhale, growing up nice and tall through your back, and just bring your left hand over onto your right knee, and your right hand behind your body. Twist your body and bring your chin down towards your shoulder. And release. Come to center. And do the same thing on the other side. So the right hand onto the left knee, the left knee behind, the left hand behind your body. Twist, feel your body twist. And then start to bring your, your uh, chin down shoulders behind the left hand shoulders and come to center and you may either want to stay cross-legged or you can come back to knees and we're just going to do Garuda arms so bringing your right hand under your left hand twist your arms and pull at your elbows you'll feel a nice stretch at the top of your back and inhale your arms up, left arm underneath, and bringing your hands up, and stretching through your arms. Good. Come to uh, your hands and knees. Inhale, scoop, look up, exhale, rounding your spine. Inhale, scoop, look up. Exhale, 
exhale, rounding your spine. Rolling up onto your toes, you can walk your feet between your hands and allow your body to flop forward. You can feel your body against your legs. Let yourself walk, release your head, yes and no, and grab your elbows. And just gently twist left to right. Putting your hands on the ground, pull your belly button up towards your spine, and slowly come up to a standing position. Rolling your shoulders back again. We're going to start the more active part of the class now. And the idea for today is, because I'm wanting to talk about sleeping uh, breath, is that we squeeze, 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 squeeze. So we're doing a sort of physical, moving kind of yoga. And then we can relax at the end. We can really, really concentrate on the relaxation. So there's lots of different types of yoga. Some are very slow and very gentle, and some are more flowing and active. Uh, and you know, we find either a mixture that we enjoy, or we like one or the other. So this is an experience of this. We're just going to start with sun salutations. If you've been doing the other challenges, you may, feel, you may have seen some different variations of sun salutation. We'll do this to warm up. So placing all four corners of the feet into the mat, lifting up on the knee, tailbone tucked, nice and tall, through the body, shoulders roll back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straighten the spine. Exhale, walking back. And you can stay here in this high plank, or you can come to your knees and release yourself down to the ground. Inhale, you can come to mini cobra or right up. Going up and over your toes, press into your hands and lengthen your spine. You can keep your knees bent first and we'll hold our breath a couple of breaths. Roll your shoulders to the side. And looking at your hands, walking your feet forward, straighten your spine, exhale, coming forward, inhale, arms up, exhale, prayer position in front of your hands. We'll do a variation, sun salutation B. Inhale, we come to a chair position, exhale, tipping from the head, forward fold. Inhale, straighten the spine. Exhale, walking back. And you can come to your high plank or you can come to knees. Reverse push up. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, looking down. Now this time, we're going to pivot that back foot. And you can help that right foot forward. And knee over the second toe. Hips are squared. Inhale, bring your arms up. Looking up. Inhale, bringing your hands on either side of the floor. Coming back to your high plank or knees. Reverse push up. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, looking down. This time we're going to pivot that right foot. And you can help that left foot forward. It heels in line with the arch of the foot. Hips are square. Inhale, arms up. Inhale, exhale, framing the foot. You can go from high plank or knees and allow yourself to come down to the ground. Inhale, looking up, rolling up and over the toes. Pressing into the hands, your feet are hip distance apart, tailbone towards the chest. Inhale, looking towards your hands, walking forward, straighten the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, coming up and sitting down in the chair bringing the hands to the chest. So we'll do one more that's going to help us to get really, really warm. We're going to hold some of the postures of the spine. 
Inhale, bringing your hands to prayer position in front of your body. Take a big step towards the back of the mat. Pivot the back foot and have your front foot towards the end of the mat. Inhale, your arms up. Lean in and bring your hands up. And just let your hand go wherever it is today. You can stay there. I'll show you from the other side as well. Taking a big step towards the back of the mat. You pivot the foot that was at the front and the other one comes forward. Inhale, the arms up. Lean in and just swivel your hands wherever they are today. And we'll hold it for two breaths. Inhale, arms up. Pivot the back foot, front foot forward. Leaning in and bring the hands up. The triangle. Inhale, arms up. You can put your weight onto your front foot and come and stand and release. Okay, so we're going to do a couple of um, uh, standing postures to work on balance. So I always like to do some balance postures because we can think about our focus. So putting your weight into your left hand leg, you can do a tree just by putting your foot on the calf muscle or a little higher up into the thigh. Or if you're really careful of your hip and your knee, you can try to bring your foot up to the crease of the thigh. So do this slowly. Bring the foot to the crease of the thigh or wherever you get it to. And take a second or two here. And then you're trying to bring your foot down. The extra hand, the hand where the bent knee is, can come together in prayer position in front of your body. And we'll hold it. Release your arm, release your leg. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Pressing your foot into the ground, bring the other foot up. So the right foot's in the ground this time. You can choose your level if you want to. You can do a tree at a lower level. Bring the foot up into the crease of the thigh. Really aware of your hips and your knees. Don't force anything, don't push it. Just let it go where it wants to go. And release your knee down. Bringing the other hand up, the same hand as the bent knee, into prayer position. And if you have a nice tall spine, you can try to bring both hands into prayer position. Release your arm, release your leg. Okay, so we're gonna try one more sort of challenge position. So coming up to the top of your mat, rolling those nice open shoulders back. So they're open now from our exercises that we did. So we want to bring the right arm first out to the back. And, sorry, we should start at the end of our mat, not the top of our mat. And grab your foot from the inside. <coughs> and inhale the same arm up as the extend, extended leg and press against the foot. And as you press against the foot, you can feel your body tipping. And just go to wherever you can go to, trying to keep your balance, pressing against your foot. Inhale, coming up, release your foot, and bring your arm down. I guess it doesn't really matter where on the mat you are. Rolling your shoulder back, bringing the left arm up this time, and bring your foot up. Inhale, the same arm up as the extended leg. Press the foot against the hand and tip. And just go to where you can tip to. So you should feel a nice opening to your shoulder, pressing your foot against your hand and releasing yourself as far as you can go. Just have a little play. You may want to go down and up a couple of times to get your balance. release your hand, release your leg. 
Okay, I'm just checking our time. Okay, so coming to the top of the mat, putting all four corners of our feet into the mat. So hopefully you've had a little bit of movement, you've started to, to maybe even sweat a little bit. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straight and spine. Exhale, walking back. High plank or knee. Reverse push up. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, looking down. So we're going to pivot the left foot again and bring that right foot forward. And we're going to stay in this position for a little bit more. So the knee over the toe. Inhale, arms up. We'll hold it for three breaths. Think about the weight on the back of the outside foot. And then open to the side. And then bending over the foot on the other side. Opening the arms so we feel everything in all position. You can look at your fingers, that knee is coming back. Pivot that front foot, and the same thing in the other direction. Windmill your arms up and over, framing your foot, coming to that high plank or to your knees. It's not a competition. Reverse push up, inhale, looking up, and exhale, you can come to child pose. And just stay there for a couple of breaths. Feel your breath regulate. Then you can come forward onto your tummy. And you can just stay on your tummy for a minute while I talk to you. So while we're doing our e-learning and our e-teaching, we're doing a lot of flexion. So if any of you are doing GCSE PE, you'll have talked about flexion and extension. So when we're over the, hunched over the computer, we're flexing our bodies forward. And also, we tend to develop the muscles in the front of our body. So the next few postures that we're going to do are all to work on extension and opening our bodies. So lying down, <clears throat> which you should already be there anyway. And just place your hands out. And we're going to raise our upper bodies up like an airplane. So put your nose onto the carpet. And inhale, lifting yourself up by pushing your belly button into the ground. Like an airplane. And release it down. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, coming up like an airplane. And coming down. This next time, we're going to keep our upper body on the ground, but we're going to lift our legs. So to do this, let's just bring our hands to the tops of our thighs. The nose and the forehead can be on the mat. And inhale, lift your legs up. And release it down. And we'll do it one more time. Inhaling the legs up, press your hips into your mat. And release it down. Bringing the hands to the side, we're going to do both the arms and the legs at the same time. So you're really pressing your belly button, your hips into the mat, and see how high you can get. And we'll do it a couple of times. We'll hold it for three breaths each time. Inhale, coming up. Hold. And three. And releasing it down. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, coming up. Pressing into the navel. And three. Releasing it down. Bringing your hands to your shoulders, pressing into your hands, 
allow yourself to come back into child's pose again. try to do a posture called the bow. So releasing yourself down onto the mat, what we're going to do is grab our feet. I have fun getting my feet. My brother's still teasing about it. So you grab your feet. You want to feel those shoulders opening. Inhale, pressing your feet against your hands. Lifting your head and your neck up, pressing your belly button into the ground as much as you can. And release yourself down. You can let go of your feet for a second if you want to. And we'll do it one more time. Trying to get up as nice and high as you can. So we're extending our back. We're extending through the shoulders. Inhale, lift your neck up. Roll your shoulders back. Press into your feet. And lift your feet up as high as you can. And if you want to, you can walk here. And slowly releasing it down. Release your feet. Release your hands. Pressing your hands into the mat. I come to child. So from your child's pose, just put your weight into your hands and walk your hands towards your feet. We're going to do one final twist before we go into our last breathing exercises and our relaxation. So cross your leg under, your right leg under, like you're crossing your legs normally, and you bring your left leg over. Taking the right arm, hug your knee. And you might find that you're already getting a stretch through your hip or your back. Try to bring your navel center. If you feel you can, bring your left hand back. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist, looking over the back shoulder. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist. And release. Bringing your left foot underneath as if you're crossing your legs. Bring the right leg over the left. Left leg comes around to hug the knee. And just take a second here to settle into the posture. Stand up nice and straight here. Feel your belly button over the leg. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist. And release. So come to a comfortable position. You can either cross leg or sit on your knees. You choose. So I said that I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the sleeping. So I've had a little bit of trouble sleeping. And there's a couple of things that I suggest people do <clears throat> if they're having trouble falling asleep. <clears throat> and that is you exhale longer than you inhale. So if you inhale two, three, exhale for double. Two, three, four, five, six. So that's kind of tricky. So we want to work ourselves up to inhale three, exhale six. So let's try it together. Let's just start with inhale one, exhale two. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale one, two. Inhale, exhale one, two. You might find that really easy. So let's try two to four. Inhale, two, exhale, three, four. Inhale, Exhale. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four. If you're finding that easy, you can move on with me. If you want to just stay, keep practicing with two to four, that's fine. So inhale, one, two, three. 
Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. And stop. Close your eyes. And you'll notice you're already starting to feel a bit more relaxed. So I'm going to let you try that. Choose your ratio, two to four or three to six. And I'll count you through it. I'll count the th two to four, then the three to six. Then I'll leave you to do it on your own for a, a couple of breaths. Inta inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you may want to do, you may choose to do that for a little bit longer. You may choose to do that for a few shorter counts or longer counts. Uh, but I find that that's quite a useful one for sleeping. Another one that I like to do is just making a slight sound. And it, it's a little bit funny to do. And uh, whenever you do any sort of making any sound, sometimes it's a little bit embarrassing. Um, but it's great to get past that because you get that, 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 that feeling of relaxation in the body. So we're gonna inhale, drawing up all of our energy. And when we exhale, we say, it's like we're saying he, but we're just breathing out. So let's just do that a couple times. Inhale, filling up, pausing at the top, exhale. So it's like you're filling your whole body up. Inhale, exhale, it's all draining out. All the tension, all the cares, and all the worries just drop out of you. So that he sound just goes through the whole front of your body, the middle of your body, and relaxes through. And finally, you can say he in a louder sort of way. So inhale, drawing the energy up, exhale, he. Inhale up. Exhale. Feeling all the cares and worries melting to the ground. And that's something you could do a little bit longer if you want to when you're trying to sleep. So let's have our final relaxation. Come and lie down on your mat. And really plant those heels in. And just Shake out anything that's left by rocking your heels back and forth. And you can let your head say yes and no. And allow your body to come to a balance. Palms turned up. Noticing your breath, 
but allowing your breath to just find its natural rhythm. And turning your eye gaze inward one last time. Focus on one part of the relaxation that is very peaceful, very blissful. And command it to your memory, taking 20 seconds or so. And know you can return to it during the week. Just by closing your eyes and taking a deep breath. And before you open your eyes, say to yourself, I am love. body slowly, maybe resting your head on your arm. Press into your hands and come up to a seated position. And you can keep your eyes closed, your eye gaze down. Taking a couple of breaths here, flutter your eyes open. Namaste. Uh, just before I go, I just want to uh, give you the Zen challenge for the day. I hope you enjoyed the class and it, uh, before it rains, because I think the rain is coming. Um, my challenge for you today is to figure out a way to create a garden. Maybe that's a little garden in your kitchen, a little urban garden, or maybe you can find a little patch uh, 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 in your own garden at your home that you could start creating a, a garden in. There are a lot of resources online uh, for teaching you how to create a garden. But the second part of my challenge for you would be to find somebody that you know uh, that might be able to help you with this. So sometimes when people are able to uh, support you and give you some of their knowledge, uh, it makes them feel good. So in giving to you and contributing to you, it makes them feel good as well. So maybe it's a grandparent uh, who uh, has a garden, who knows some gardening, you can get some gardening tips from there, or a, a neighbor that you know uh, that might be able to help you with that. So good luck with that and have a great week.